Reggie, what do we have over there? Yeah, this is according to Adam Schefter of ESPN. Uh, as of four minutes ago, he said, and I'll read it verbatim, this just in, Dallas is not making a head coaching change, huh. and Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy is returning for the 2024 season per sources. Yeah! And I thought they were you don't mean tomorrow. That. So, I don't. But today, I guess. You're an unserious organization that does not give a damn about winning a championship. Mm, talk to them, people. Congratulations. Hey, hey, we'll get 12 wins, though. Hey, awesome. Let's, get, let's get a banner. So awesome being a fan of this team. I love it. A factory of sadness. <laughs> we have D's on that beer. Hey, yo. This is more disappointed than uh, Wolchuk was when we were getting ready to board the, uh, the tram in Arizona and the report came out they were bringing Zeke back. <laughs> I, yeah, I just hope Mike McCarthy says, let's run the damn ball, and then let's have the worst rushing efficiency of Dak's entire career. All right, how about that? Yes. Uh, are you guys surprised at all by this, uh, Reg? Uh, Blake? <laughs> no. Upwards inflection? Like, I'm not surprised in that Jerry Jones loves making me feel stupid, and so if I think something's going to go one way, uh, it might go another way. But in a way, no. Also, like, yeah, uh, there is a little surprise, like, the ways in which Jerry Jones has talked about this team and the and and, and the uh, the goals that they need, it made it very clear what the. I mean, we all established our expectations based off of that that they needed to win. Like you brought him in and you established that yeah. he was here because he had Super Bowl winning pedigree, and ultimately that leads to you need to win in the playoffs. You have not done that in a, a notable way, and yet he remains uh, to the end of this contract. So. There's that portion of it that I, I can't get past. But also, Jerry Jones apparently just wants to give him until the end of that contract, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Overall, it's not surprising. But um, the small side of me that is surprised is just the the buildup. Once you found out that you were going to be hosting playoff games, getting to play the seven seed, everybody saying this is the the best opportunity to go on a, on a run that you've had in 25 years, Jerry included, saying that. And then the way in which you lost that game, which was you lost it from the very jump. Everything look, looked terrible and inept and confused for the entire duration of the game. Just embarrassing. And then you add on the Bill Belichick factor that he's out there. Like that, all of that made me think there's a chance here that this could be a pull the plug situation on McCarthy. But ultimately, Jerry stuck to his guns. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to pay a coach to not be here. I feel like most other organizations would have moved on by now. Um, I guess the the good news is it does kind of feel like if he's going into the final year, it will be you better go on a run or this will be it. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, that's how Jason Garrett left. Remember, he did not get fired. They just opted to not renew his contract. It's the path of least resistance, which honestly could lead you to maybe make some assumptions about Jerry Jones' the decision making. Um, the, but yeah, that's... Oof, oof, oof. Is this like Clapper 2.0 just with bigger suits? He's better than Jason Garrett. Yeah, he's, be- he's I, I better than Jason Garrett. I don't want to disrespect Mike McCarthy by, yeah. by calling him Clapper 2.0. He's way better than Garrett. I mean, the dude is a winning football coach. It's just, it's not going to work here. See, sometimes it's not just winning games. It's just the mentality. Like, I, I, I mean, I talked about this last time I was here with y'all. I do not think that this team can rally behind him and have faith going into the postseason next year. So I guess that they just want to kind of figure out the roster, be in the right cap space, let him go after this year and figure it out. Cool. But I don't think any of us here at the station or any of the fans are going to feel any differently going into the season. So I guess it's, like you said, the path of least resistance. You don't got to worry about a, a new system and a new head coach. Jerry's not getting any younger. And he just wanted something that was going to be consistent and just good enough. Question is now, too, is, okay, what happens with Dan Quinn? And if, in fact, Dan Quinn, maybe he gets an opportunity to go. If not, do they make a switch there? Yes. With uh, with Mike being in his last year, though, can you get a quality uh, a defensive coordinator to come here on a one year deal? It's, it'll be Joe Witt. I or maybe maybe oh, you get a, a Mark Neal who's getting I mean, paid I, by the Giants too. I mean, just a lot of people. A lot of people just seem to think that 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 Al Harris is not ready, hmm. and they're not sure, and they're thinking that Dan might. Dan would take Joe Witt with him if he were to go. But okay, I wonder we, we don't that. know. I mean, I'm just saying, though, if it turns out, though, that they do move on from Dan. And we'll, you know, like I say, there's people that are talking about that, and maybe Dan would go on his own. But can you, with, with, with Mike McCarthy being on a one-year deal, where's your, where's your defensive coordinator going to come from? It's an interesting question. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I thought Al Harris, you know, I don't like to go with the retread route. Go ahead. Maybe he's the young up-and-comer. Just yeah. go ahead and do it and promote him. I got pushed back that maybe Al Harris would go with Dan Quinn well, and not Joe Witt because Joe Witt yeah. is a McCarthy guy. 
The thing you have to think about if you're Mike McCarthy is, can you afford to have a first-year defensive coordinator when you're trying to fight for your job? Yeah, and installing new things, all that.